guys so welcome back to another video so in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this cinema graph it's very easy so the first thing that you need to do is pick a photograph that you like and you use affinity photo so I'm going to use this photograph that I got online of a man holding up a vanilla ice cream sundae so I'm going to add another photograph of a skier so there it is I'm just going to place it on top I'm going to size it small okay I think this is about the right size for this ice cream okay so now the next thing I'm going to do is to get a selection brush tool a smart selection tool and then I'm going to adjust the size to very small because the picture is also very small so I'm just going to brush on the character here okay so just the character and not the background and definitely not the snow but um, I think I made a mistake here because the brush actually selected a snow so instead of add I'm going to change it to subtract so I'm just going to brush on the snow to subtract it I don't want it so I'm going to subtract okay so I'm happy I'm just going to change it back to add this time around I'm going to change the brush size to much smaller and I'm going to continue brushing on the character okay go back now I'm going to the refine tool and then I'm going to select new layer so that the character is on a new layer so now I'm just going to adjust and place it um, a suitable place on the ice cream I'm going to adjust the size and the rotation as well okay I'm happy about this next I'm going to add uh, a splash a milk splash I know this may not be suitable but I think um, in case you want to do something different you can you can do um, I don't know powdery powder splash uh, yeah instead of a milk splash but anyway here here's what I'm gonna do it, it is very easy so you just go online and get this image with a black background so that you can select um, the the milk splash very easily because there's a very high contrast so again using the smart brush tool this is what I did now the color of the milk splash and the ice cream is very jarring so I'm just going to change the, the HSL of this uh, layer so I'm just going to change the hue, saturation and the luminosity and somewhat very close to the vanilla ice cream I think this is okay so that's, that's done so next I'm going to add um, something else I think so let's pick a photograph and this time around I'm going to choose a pine tree so again oh it's not appearing so make sure the layer is correct so just move it up to the top all right so now I'm just going to get the selection the smart selection brush and I'm just going to brush the tree okay I think this is quite easy but just in case just get the refine brush tool and deduct all the unwanted edges and there you have it it's, it is very easy to do so now I'm going to move it on the ice cream resize it I think okay I think this is the right place for it okay I think um, I'm done so I'm just gonna export this picture into a JPEG file and save all right so now let's go to Lumiere and load up the picture that we had just now okay Lumiere is very fun app so I'm just going to show you how fun it is and how easy it is 
So I'm just going to adjust the, the position and click OK. So now I'm just going to choose the first effect. You are given two effects. So the first one I'm going to choose is something to do with snow. So I'm just going to scroll through and find what I have. And I think I have one very good one. Uh, there is a skier. Yes, that's the one. Where you can see the powder snow exploding behind. Okay, I think this is pretty good. So let's choose the second effect and I'm, I'm gonna make it snow. I think this is beautiful. So just go ahead and save. And I'm just gonna save a copy on my iPad and then I'm also gonna publish it to Instagram. Alright, so in Instagram you can, you know, choose your own filter if you want. Alright, so that's that's it. It is so easy to do. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe guys.